Hello, I will be covering conveyor compression in this guide. Normally, a single item can block an entire conveyor belt, not a stack, just one item. However, using multiple entry points, you can force the items to combine, saving space, but only use one item type per conveyor belt. Otherwise, the items will overwrite each other and you will lose some items. First, I'll just lay down a standard conveyor belt. You can see I put one belt down to start it and I connected it up to the roller band at the end. So I will just make my logistics connections here and my logistics workers will start delivering single jointed segments to my conveyor belt. So I've skipped ahead and you can see the roller band has been fully saturated. However, those four slots might only hold four items. There could only be one item in each of those stacks. But you can see that the logistics worker won't put any more items on the conveyor belt because the end is blocked. Now I'm going to show you a technique that will allow you to compress your conveyor belts and fit more items on them. So you start with your conveyor belt and you make just a tiny segment, just a conveyor start and end point, just two tiles long. Then you pick up another conveyor belt and you continue the conveyor out to your roller band or wherever you're going. Switching over to logistics mode, you can see now we have a conveyor start, conveyor end, and another conveyor start. So we have two conveyor start points here at the beginning of our conveyor belt. I'll go ahead and connect the logistics slots here. So they've started delivering items to the conveyor belt. I'll jump ahead a bit so we can see the roller band back up. You can see the green light at the end is green. That means they'll keep delivering items to this conveyor belt. And then we're backed up. It stops. But the conveyor start at the beginning of the conveyor belt is still green from that mini segment that we put on front. Furthermore, you can see that the additional items being placed on the line are getting combined. They're adding up. Even after hitting the max stack size for single jointed segments, which is 40, the logistics workers keep placing items on the belt and keep filling it up. So the logistics worker has cleared the roller band and now you can see my items are flowing down the conveyor belt and they're packed in much more densely than they were before on the first conveyor. Here's a real life example of one of my production lines. You can see the conveyor belts are quite compressed, very full of boxes. This is my largest production line here. I wanted to get 24 delivery drones per week. You can see that the top most conveyor there has multiple entry points. So you can see the boxes are placed quite close to each other, much closer than they would be if there were only a single entry point. This technique was especially helpful here because I did not have room for a roller band at the end of the conveyor belt. I hope this helped. Hit me up if you have any questions. I'm on the Discord. Username Tashi.